Hi, this is Mark. Today I want to show you how I find duplicate data in a spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel. Okay, so let's go to this test file that I made up and I'm going to select on this column, the ID column, because this is the one I'm interested in finding duplicate data or duplicate ID numbers. The first thing I want to do is organize that column by sorting them so it's a little bit easier for me to visualize duplicate data. So I clicked on data and sort. I want to keep this selection, expand the selection, keep that selected, click on sort button and the column here, make sure it's the one that I'm interested in is ID. Keep the rest the same, smallest to largest in the values. Click OK. All right, things have changed here. So uh, you might not be able to see the differences right away, but let's go, go through them. One and two are the same, but all of a sudden now I have duplicate here. I could see there and here. Okay, so visually I could pick them out a little bit easier, but maybe there's more, especially if you're dealing with a larger list. This is fairly short. It's like one page, a little bit more than one page. Maybe you have several pages, maybe you have a thousand. Usually uh, with, when I'm working with my clients, I get thousands of rows. All right. So Microsoft Excel has a nice feature where you can do highlighting on duplicates. And let's do that. Again, I'm interested in the ID column. But for this one, it's a little bit different. I want to select all the values in the ID column. So I'm going to click on the very first one and then hold my shift key down and click on the last one to make sure they're all selected. Then I'm going to look for this conditional formatting and click on that. Highlight cell rules is the first option and then select on the sub menu the last option, duplicate values. I'm going to keep all this the same so that basically means the duplicates or the dupes will be highlighted in red and click OK. And There we go. So I missed one. I didn't even see this one down here, 15 is duplicated. Great. Okay, so that's duplicates. I had um, another question about finding maybe uh, empty values or blank values. So I'm still interested in my ID column. Let's see if there's any blank ones because ID should always have a value and it should always be unique. So we already did the dupes. Let's find blank ones. Now I want to reset things. So I'm going to go back into conditional formatting click on that and I want to clear all the rules in the entire sheet so it doesn't highlight the duplicates anymore. I'm going to go back and resort to the original sort. That's why I have a sequence column there. That's just for this demo purposes. Keep that selected. This time I want to sort on sequence. This is just to help me go back to the original order. Okay, everything's back to where it was. Now I'm going to click on the first ID, hold my shift button, click on the last ID, and let's try to find the blank ones using the tool conditional highlighting. This time I'm going to select in the sub menu equal to. Under cell value, I want to look for blanks. Keep everything else the same. Now it's highlighted all the blanks. Beauty. Okay, so I didn't sort this. Remember, I didn't sort this first. I basically just said, show me all the blanks. What if we sort it on ID? All right, so we're doing sort after the fact. Let's go ahead and do that. It groups things, again, organizes things a little bit easier to make things easier for you. Okay, let's go through one more example. So that was IDs. Maybe I want to I want to find duplicate email addresses. This is very common. Most of my clients come to me with this type of problem. So let's clear our conditional formatting from the entire sheet. This time I want to sort my email addresses. Select from the column now email address. Click OK. So this helps a little bit on the organization. It might be still a little bit hard to find all the dupes, but it should be a little bit easier if it wasn't than if it wasn't sorted. But let's click on conditional formatting, 
highlights all oh, I forgot a step this is an important step I want to select the first email and then shift click the last one so I'm only highlighting in these values all right that's important let's go back highlight cell rules select duplicate values click OK for the default and boom there you go again much easier and this helps the reason I pick this example is because some of these are very op uh, obvious so these two are dupes okay these two are duplicates too but the values are a little bit different so I might need to figure out how to merge these it might not be as simple as just deleting one row okay and here's the other one which is a, a full duplicate great well that's it for today I hope that helped please give me a shout if you have any questions if this was helpful please give it a thumbs up so other people can find it easier. And if it wasn't, um, I would appreciate your comments. So leave a, a comment at the end of the, or towards the bottom of the video. Thanks so much.